Alright guys, it is Vimtech here again and it is so nice to be back on the channel after a long time guys. Today we are looking at Titanfall 2. So let's go to our video settings. Guys, now what I do over here, I put the game in full screen um, and I put it on high definition as you can see. Brightness, we use it just uh, normal. We don't go over overboard. Our film grain is also high. Uh, and you can see we put it on V-Sync, triple buffered and um, super sampling we keep it on enable guys makes the game look really good now we are putting this game at 8 gigabyte of ram on the gpu guys we are trying to strain the gpu and see how it progresses in titanfall 2 so it is pretty a uh, hectic requirement but let's just put it higher let's put everything higher on this machine just to stress this how this machine can handle titanfall 2 guys let's go and check out the gameplay Okay guys, I'm just going to give you parts of the gameplay, how the game looks now. As you can see, it is a first person shooter, it is very similar to Doom. And uh, guys, on these high settings in HD, this game is running smooth at 60 frames per second and it looks beautiful guys. Um, what I like about this game is that it is very open environment. You can jump whatever you, wherever you can, you can damage the environment. And the jumps are pretty amazing in this game. You can actually walk on walls, uh, as I'm showing you over here. And it is pretty amazing. But guys, just look how um, detailed the environments are. I mean, it is so close up the and, and and so, like, in hyperspace. And um, you get these freakish type of creatures that are locked up in these cages. But, um, guys, Titanfall 2 for a game that is... Uh, pretty old and came out in 2017. I've never really experienced this game But all I can say is that I have enjoyed playing this game so far. I think this is like the third level I'm on But guys uh, the beauty part about it is that the GTX 1650 Still amazes me till today and how it's actually Pilot, handling these, these environments and these games guys and um, it's handling it ultra ultra smooth just remember i am using the new nvidia drivers uh, make sure your uh direct x drivers are up to date and uh, guys just make sure your software is up to date uh, i am using the new version of uh, uh, windows 10 as i said before and it does have an enhancement to uh increase your games uh frames per second and uh, guys this you know titan is, apart. is a beautiful game it is excellent even if it is old um the graphics cards today can handle these games with ease guys and it is just a beautiful looking game and uh, look how intense these envi environments are um and especially if you play this multiplayer online uh with your friends guys it is a pretty pretty awesome game but the single player campaign i'm really really enjoying this game and it looks pretty pretty awesome guys now look at how these jumps are on this game this game is it's so intense it gives you these intense environments very colorful the shading is also beautiful and um, guys it is worth a try if you haven't played titanfall 2 what i would also like to say is that the weapons in this game in this game is amazing um this gun here is a special sort of a gun it shoots out like a red sort of a laser and it actually uh, heats up your enemies and melts your enemies away. But um, guys, look at the environments. I mean, you are practically seeing the videos and it is excellent. Um, and um, the GTX 1650 has not failed me so far. It is brilliant. I have played uh, the new Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. And what an intense game that was. And um, guys, I just killed myself in not making a jump. Uh, the jumps are pretty pretty difficult in this game. You have to time your jumps and um, It is just amazing guys. Um, All I can say so let's just look at the other uh, renderings what the game has to offer and um, Beautiful stuff beautiful stuff look at the shading on the floor guys the shadows Pretty wicked now guys, this is now with your Titan you you can actually go into your titan and play with him i like to play uh, out, um, uh, as a soldier on the battlefield so my titan is actually helping me 
he can fight, I can help him as well. And then we've got these other two huge titans to kill. Now guys, these titans are pretty pretty good. They're pretty strong. The AI is pretty good in this game, guys. And um, your weapons make all the difference to, to, to kill these, these, these titans. But guys, it's such an intense game. The battlefield uh, uh, play elements are absolutely amazing in this game. And as you can see, excellent stuff. Excellent stuff, guys. Now my titan is on fire. This took a lot of damage. And um, I will show you now how I get into the titan and how it looks from the inside of the titan. So you can play inside or you can play as a soldier outside. As a pilot. And uh, it is pretty amazing guys. The guns in this game are just kick ass. Now guys this is inside the titan. Now inside the titan you have all these other sort of weapons. Um, you have these upgraded weapons. And guys it gets really really intense as I'm going to show you now in this battlefield here. You have to collect these green batteries to recharge your titan. So practically it powers your titan up. And guys you just go into battle. This game is just about shooting guys. It is it is a typical frames per second shooter. If you like fast action games, games this is the one you're looking for guys. And on the GTX 1650 it is running it on high. And um, it is actually running this game pretty pretty well. At 60 frames per second no frame drops. And um, guys it is... It is amazing. I'm actually surprised I'm not getting any bottlenecking in this game because I'm using an i5 uh, 47.50 uh, uh, in this game and it's actually running it very very smooth. It's not the latest i5, it is one of the older generation i5 CPUs. But it is actually running it pretty well guys and I mean for a budget gaming machine I'm running graphics like this I am not complaining at all. The game looks insane. Insane. Now guys, here are the, um, the the Titan weapons and you can actually change it. So I change it to the sort of rocket launcher and it's very pretty good. Now we are heading here into a battle scene. Now isn't that awesome guys, the rocks in the environment. Total destruction. Total destruction. I love killing these small soldiers on the battlefield. It's so amazing. You feel so empowered. Okay, let's charge up. And we're going into battle. Here we go. This is a boss fight, guys. You will, you will see now what the, a boss titan looks like. Here we go, let's get ready for it. Risk has put a high price on your head, pilot. Dead or alive, that makes you worth something to me. This is just too awesome, guys. Let's kick ass here. Let us let's kick a butt. Pretty, pretty insane stuff. Oh boy, I'm trying to escape. He just got me locked on. Ooh, I'm getting a bit of I'm getting a bit of damage. This gun is so awesome. My lock on guns are so mean. Yeah baby, yeah! Oh man, look at that gun. Now guys, as you shoot and you get more power-ups, you get these special other fire armors that you can actually kill and there she is dead. Adios. And there we go. We cleared up the boss. And guys, just total havoc. Total havoc in the stage. Look at the damage. And this is a machine gun of the Titan. It looks pretty, pretty good. And guys, it is an insane game. Uh, all I can say is that if you guys do get your uh, hands on Titanfall 2, guys, give it a shot. It is pretty, pretty good. Uh, try to uh, max out your settings on your graphics card. And um, it is running pretty, pretty smooth on, on, on my machine. I'm pretty happy with this. Guys, I hope you guys are liking the reviews. Please subscribe if you're enjoying the channels. Watch the other videos to see how you set up the GTX 1650. Guys, take care and please subscribe on the Vimstack channel. Cheers.